my gosh, what did Twinkles do? I can't listen to you right now because I'm eating. You're eating? What are you, look at, what are those? Twinkles, you made a mess. But it kind of looks good, so I'll let it pass. What is this? Oh my gosh, it's a candy cane. Should we read the note? Uh -huh. It says, good morning. Amelia and Charlotte, I thought since it was your first day of Christmas break, I'd set you up a North Pole breakfast. I hope Mommy isn't mad I used her stuff. Oh, these are my plates. These are my good plates, too. Oh, okay, fine. Enjoy your breakfast, love, Twinkles. Oh, that's so, that was so nice of her. What do you think of your donut? Is that yummy? I think I hear Charlotte up. Maybe I'll go get her. Then we can eat breakfast? I'm already eating. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Alright, we'll save some donuts for me and Sissy. of course brought to you by our favorite elf twinkles and welcome to vlogmas day seven we are going to get some stuff done today so we are going to work on some handmade homemade christmas presents now if you caught my cookie decorating video a couple videos back i took you on a tour around the museum of amelia's handmade gifts ever since she was little we either made a handprint or footprint gift for my mom and dad and then Brandon's mom. Of course, we have to continue the tradition. So we have a really fun little DIY easy project that we're going to do today. We're also going to put together a burr basket for my 85 and 88, 87 year old grandparents. Like, you know, they're in their upper 80s. What more could they need? So I thought a burr basket would be fun. Don't worry, I'm throwing a gift card in there as well. And then I'm going to make a homemade ornament for one of my aunts, and I will explain more about that in just a little bit, but I just thought I'd take you along with me as we kind of finish uh, those kind of things up. 
So if you're excited, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications because we have more Vlogmas coming up. It's almost time for the big day. Leave those burning questions down below for when I do my wrap with me video. I'm also going to be including a Q&A and kind of just talking and getting to know me a little better. I thought it'd be more fun than just watching me wrap a bunch of presents and quite frankly, I'm not very good at wrapping presents so it would not be very entertaining to watch. So anyways, leave those questions down below and let's get started. Let's pack this burr basket. So first I'm gonna start off with a basket. This is or like a little bucket. This came from the Dollar Tree and I thought it was perfect because it has snowflakes on it. So perfect for a burr basket. Then I also picked up some shred. So I am going to put that at the bottom. There we go, let's just spread the shred around. All right, there we go. So my grandpa, remember, he's the one that broke his hip, if you remember. Uh, he loves Sudoku puzzles. So I am actually going to add these in there because uh, this is what he does literally all day long. Now this is a bucket for them to share. So I'm gonna throw those in there. Then my grandma, she is the puzzle woman. So I'm going to put some puzzles in there. Again, all of this stuff came from the Dollar Tree. Of course, you can't have a burr basket without some goodies. So I thought I would include some popcorn and then some Werther's. I do know they eat those. Then I'm gonna add some chocolate, and this came from Walmart. So of course I'm going to add that in there because you can't have a bucket without chocolate. So this is the little burr basket for my grandparents. Like I said, I am going to be adding in a, a gift card too so they can order in or order out or just go out. But this is for those cold winter days when there's really nothing to do and it's too cold to do anything else. So here is the little burr basket. I love it, look how cute. And again, I am going to throw a gift card in it. So that's just kind of a easy last minute idea for like the people or person that has everything. Thing, literally okay so now we're gonna work on the grandma grandma grandpa's grandma gifts um so this we have one for my mom and dad and then one for brandon's mom um although it's it always tends to lean towards my mom like in, my, instead of my dad i mean i'm sure my dad likes looking at it but you know how it goes anyways i picked up these cutting boards from Walmart. I got two and they're actually pretty good quality, but they are for crafting. There was a sticker on here that said for decor purposes only. So I don't know if you seal it, if you could actually use it, but um, you know, I think they're going to use it for decor. So we are going to make a little reindeer using both of their hands. So Millie has to go first because she's like the body. All right. So you have to put it upside down. Let's make sure it's completely painted. She already started painting it. So let's, you got to make sure to get the tips and we got to work fast. Okay. Put your pinky in a little bit more. All right. Okay, what happened there? All right, now let's do the second one. Let's cut, paint again. Okay, I wanna paint it. Okay, you paint it. So, how I got into Roblox. You don't play Roblox. How I got into Roblox is YouTube. So, if your child has to climb Roblox, make sure it's seven or eight. You ready? Yeah. Let's make sure to get. Oh, bless you. And. and no, 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 no. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, okay. Hold, hold out uh, this finger. Okay. Ready? We're gonna. Well, wait. Let's put more paint on it. Just that finger. There we go. Just, just the pinky. There we go. Oh, that's so cute. That one came out way better. Okay, hold your hand really tight. Okay, ready? Just, just your palm. Yeah. Oh, that's yay! Yay! It worked. Are you gonna cooperate? Okay, so I need to figure out. I think it's gonna go like that, yeah. Or is it this hand? Oh yeah, I think it's that hand. Okay. Oh boy, wish me luck. Now we did a hand print thing. High five, high five. We did a hand print thing at a, like a ceramic place where they, yeah, high five. And she actually did pretty good. So let's just hope that this works out. 
just as well. Okay, ready? High five. High five. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> not bad. <laughs> That's not bad. Okay, ready? High five. High five. Oh, that is so cute. Once we add the red nose, you'll get more of the vision, but now I gotta clean her up. Okay, here's the first stage of our, I hope I did this right. We should probably check Pinterest. <laughs> okay, so something I always do is put their name and date. So I'm gonna put Charlotte here and Amelia here. So I'm just gonna measure and see, and I'm, this is not gonna turn into a Cricut tutorial, so don't worry if you don't have Cricut, but um, let's see, I would say two inches. And two inches, and then I'm going to do the year. So let's just type something up. Charlotte, and then I need it to be width two inches. That's a cute name. Okay, Amelia. What? <laughs> Nothing. I think I'm going to do matte black. No, I'm going to do shiny black because it's fun. Why the heck not? You're thirsty over dear little girl. Okay, let's put that in. Okay, now that's gonna cut. Are you all done? Are you all done? Okay, it's done. I don't know if you can see it, but that's what it looks like. Also, yes, I do have a whole craft room downstairs, but I thought I'd come up here so I can beat the girls. Now, I'm gonna be finding these little pieces all over me for the next four weeks. Oh, by the way, sad to report, we did do this wrong. Um, the thumb of this one was supposed to go over there, but it is what it is. Okay, so let's do Char, I think that's gonna look good. Char, what should I do? Yeah. Okay, let's do Charlotte 2023. Now we're gonna do Amelia. Now what we're gonna do, and then we'll be somewhat done with this, is add the nose. Red, of course I, I would be red. Oh, that was good. I'm just gonna put some, uh, God, that was either all or nothing now, wasn't it? Let's see, that would be a good nose. I'm just gonna use the back of this, and then let's just, no, oh my gosh, that is so cute. That is so adorable! Then I brought up a Sharpie. Okay, so then just with a Sharpie, I'm just gonna add a little eye and a mouth. Oh, look how cute! Is that weird? <laughs> Rudolph looks excited. Okay, this is why the thumb needs to be on the other side. <laughs> I mean, when you really glance at it, yeah, it's good enough. <laughs> okay, so then I'm going to make a little bow, like a little bow tie. So you're gonna do like the awareness, you know, like the awareness ribbon. You're gonna crisscross it, and then you're just going to scrunch it like that. Take your other string. And this, you want to make sure that you pull super, super tight to get that bow effect. All right, now we just need a little fix in here. Okay, so it's not the best bow you've ever seen, but that's okay. All right, so I got to hook up my hot glue gun, though. But I wanted to show you something. So I ordered this set on Amazon, and it came with two of each of these, like, serving utensils. So I thought it would be cute to cut out some little silhouettes of like gingerbread men or um, snowmen and put them on here. Okay, let's hot glue this down while that's cutting. I think it's cute just how it is. Okay. Those are cute. That's an easy way to make them Christmassy. Um, I really do wish I would have made them smaller, but that's okay. Oh man, look, that is the perfect size. 
size. That's what I want. Okay, so now we have a set. Look how cute they are. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, look how cute. I did end up adding a uh, ribbon to this, but I think it's adorable. And then we have the little cutlery. I'm trying to decide how I'm going to wrap these, but super fun. So there you go. There's a cute little idea for you. All right, so now we're going to make the ornament for my aunt. I got these in a pack from Timu. I just did like a DIY video for them. So this is what I'm going to use. All right, so I cut this off camera just so I could get it done. So let's go ahead and apply it. I need to really make sure I line it up. There we go. Cute. Okay, so now let's add the margarita. I thought just to add a little something something, we could add some puffy paint. What I'm gonna do is just kind of use it as glitter. That's cute. Just something very simple. And if I wanted to, I could paint this white. Maybe I will. But I do have to be careful because that puppy paint is still white. I mean, wet. Puffy paint is almost dry. Now I am going to have to give this a two coat, another coat, but look how much better. That is so much better. Let's put it somewhere to dry. Okay, so the last thing I actually want to do is make a little snack basket for the delivery people, FedEx, Amazon, UPS, uh, USPS, DHL, you know, all the people. And I know I should have done this a long time ago, but I am expecting uh, quite a bit more <laughs> packages. So I was like, eh, better late than never. I went to the store and I got these mini bags. Now I did not get a lot because I'm not expecting, I mean, I am expecting a lot, but not like a ton. So I got these bags of chips. And what I'm gonna do is put one of each kind. All right, I think that's, that's one of each kind. And then I got these cheese crackers. So let's put those in there too. I really didn't know what to get. But these in here. They're just little crackers. Just a little snacky poo. Then I have these oatmeal cream pies. So let's put those. And I'm really hoping that the cream and these don't freeze. <laughs> Please don't freeze. Okay. Okay, so there's that. And then I also have fruit snacks that I'm gonna throw and I'm really hoping these do not freeze. I have a feeling they might, but that's okay. They can still take them and eat them. So this is just a little, little thing for them. And then I did want to make it festive. So what I'm gonna do is take some of this ribbon I was using earlier, cut off a piece, and I'm just going to, let's see, let's put it, <laughs> it's convenient that they have these holes here. I don't know if this is going to work, but it's the thought that counts, right? Okay, there we go, just a little thing. Okay, I didn't have any cardboard or anything, but I did have this dry erase board from another project, so let's go ahead and make a little sign. Okay, it's done. I wouldn't say I'm an artist or anything, but let's go put it out on the front porch. Okay, there it is. <laughs> this took me way too long to try to figure out where to put it and how to put it, but hopefully they see it. I think so. It's very colorful. So hopefully they, uh, you know, grab a little snack on the way out. And this also goes for DoorDash too. <laughs> well, there you go. 
Okay, so a little update. I think the reason why the cutting board looked weird was because when I did his mouth, I did it like above his nose, which makes no sense. So I just repainted over the um, mouth and I don't think I'm gonna add a new mouth. So I did that for both. I thought these came, these came out cute. And then here is our ornament. It is a little wet on the back, so I'm trying not to touch it. But I also added just a little ribbon and uh, you can kind of see the sparkle. I think I need to do one more coat. You can see that it's not all the way covered, but I think she's really going to enjoy this. She was a huge Jimmy Buffett fan, so she was very sad. In fact, she wanted me to make her a shirt, which I did in the summer, so I, that's why I know she's gonna like this. And I have her in the gift exchange, if you're wondering, like, why am I not making everyone? Because I have her. I hope that you had fun watching these little DIYs come together and don't forget to subscribe like this video and I am so close to a thousand subscribers I don't know what happened my video from yesterday got a lot more views than all my other videos and I got like probably 30 new subscribers overnight and I am so grateful for that so thank you thank you thank you uh, keep it going <laughs> I'm trying to reach my goal of a thousand before 2024 anyways I'll catch you for tomorrow's vlogmas and I guess that completes another day in the life with Ash I'll see you soon bye